Moments ago, teachers in two local school districts voted to authorize a strike. Now, this won't happen immediately, but if they do walk off the job, about 15,000 students in the Gresham Barlow and Park Rose districts could be affected. Coin Local 6 reporter Cor Harlan is live now at Barlow High School with the latest developments, Cor. Well, Kelly, most of the teachers have actually left Barlow High School after a vote here within the last hour. These are two separate school districts who are now on a collision course with a possible work interruption as the school year winds down and teacher frustration over working conditions boil over. The teachers met here just after 4 o'clock this afternoon, gathered in the auditorium here at Barlow to vote to authorize the strike after a short discussion. Now, as you mentioned, by law, the mediator will bring both sides back to the table so this strike can officially begin for the... Uh, within the next 10 days. Overcrowding in classrooms has given teachers less prep time and made it harder to handle a class. One teacher, a 28-year teacher, also says a new district mandate preventing teachers from effectively disciplining unruly students sort of erodes a teacher's command of the classroom. People are upset about not being able to do their job and not being able to do it well. And people get into this profession because they love kids and they love education, and uh, they want to do what's good for kids. Now, as I mentioned, teachers of all, the last car of the teacher we've seen here just left a couple of minutes ago. Formal negotiating session out here in Gresham Barlow is set for this coming Friday. But as you know, informal negotiations between the board and the school district, they will be ongoing. And uh, the district, as you'll recall out here, voted to implement its last offer on a, at a meeting and a vote that happened on March the 22nd. And teachers... Uh, uh, sort of unanimously and uh, with a lot of force tonight, sort of rejecting that offer here. So as we mentioned, teachers affecting thousands of students out here in East County now on a ticking, the clock is now ticking, I say, on what could potentially be a work interruption that could begin here sometime in the next 10 to 12 days. Reporting for you live tonight at Sam Barlow High School out here in East County, Cor Harlan, Coin Local 6. And happy